Hey, welcome to How It Plays. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're joined by... Brian Greer from Game Brigade. I was so enthusiastic. I know. <laughs> we are hey, more me. excited about Brian being here than I think Brian is about being yeah. here. <laughs> so this will be our first ever uh, three-player yeah. playthrough. On the channel. On the channel. Yeah, yeah. And today we're covering Lords of Ragnarok. We sure are. With three players. Yes. Um, but before we jump in and start the game, we're going to go over to... Roll the primer. The primer. <laughs> In Lords of Ragnarok, players compete as science fiction-inspired Viking clans to establish control over a mythical Nordic land. With many paths to victory and variable player abilities, players must manage their armies, hunt monsters, build temples, pray to advance attributes, which in turn makes every move even more powerful. Join me as we take a look at the map and get ready to play. So if you take a look at the map here, this is our mythical Nordic land. We have, most importantly, several lands that are color-coded, and these lands are broken up into different regions, which are denoted by the dotted lines you see here. Each of these regions has a special quality, so it could be a region where you can build a temple. We have regions that you can build settlements, and each of these are very important because they tell us what we can do on those regions, and we'll get into that as we play. Each region also has a population value, and that's what we will be comparing our army strength against when we are taking control over that region, or our might strength if we're trying to usurp that region later on. You'll also notice that around the edges here, we have six realms, and they are denoted by these more solid white lines. These realms cannot be controlled by any player, but they are associated with the six actions on the action wheel in the middle of the map. These can be allied with, they can't be controlled, but we still will place one of our control tokens on them to denote that our clan is allied with that realm. Then, when a player actually takes one of the actions on the action wheel for the first time associated with that realm, we'll get a bonus. Now let's talk quickly about how to win the game. We have basically four win conditions. First, if a player controls all regions in three different lands, the game will end immediately and that player wins. If a player controls five regions with temples, and this is important because you don't have to build the temples, and in fact you may not build any temples and simply go around controlling regions where others have built temples. So if a player controls five regions with temples, they immediately win the game as well. Killing two monsters and then killing Loki is another way to win the game. This is very difficult, it's not easy. And the only player that is eligible to even hunt Loki is the player who has already killed two monsters. So this is a very difficult win condition. The fourth win condition is Ragnarok. So Ragnarok is going to be triggered by flipping over or meeting three of these five criteria that we've drawn for this particular game. So in this game, we have a temple builder, which is to build five temples. So collectively as a, as a group, we've built five temples on the map. Uh, as a group, we've killed two monsters. If there's one fully built monument, a hero with an attribute value of six. So we'll talk about attributes in a, in a moment, but once that track is maxed out, then we'll flip that Ragnarok condition. And finally, if four or more realms are allied to one player, then that condition will be met as well. So again, we're looking to meet three of those five conditions to trigger Ragnarok. And when Ragnarok is triggered, everyone will take one more turn and the game will end. So that you understand the game flow, we'll go over our player turns. The first thing that will happen during the player turn is the prayer. So this will allow a player to either pick up a rune in a region where their hero is located, which would be one of these tokens here on one of the regions on the board, or you can send a priest out. 
Now we're not starting the game with any priests. The only way to get them is to build temples. So hopefully you'll see us doing that throughout the game and uh, also picking up lots of runes. Second, your uh, hero action. So you can either move your hero to spaces or you can move your Drakkar to ocean spaces. So we do have these ocean areas around the edge of the map as well and we're able to really get from one side of the map to the other with one of those moves. Now this is important because where our Drakkar is located is where we will be able to recruit new armies to the neighboring lands and when we do our movement of our armies or our hero we can actually treat any land that's bordering that sea quadrant as adjacent for the purposes of movement. Step three of the player turn is going to be to use those runes. So this is a new feature of Lords of Ragnarok that if you are familiar with Lords of Hellas was not part of that game. So uh, in Lords of Ragnarok you're able to use these runes to take almost executive actions if you're a Eurogamer like we are. So those actions are going to be to take one rune and control a monster or ally with a realm and that one rune that you use has to correspond with either the monster or with the realm that you're looking to ally with and when we go over the realms and we go over the monsters we can show you uh, the runes that are associated with those the second thing that you can do with runes is spend two runes two different runes and activate an army activate your controlled monster or draw as many combat cards as you have wisdom. And again, we'll go over attributes in a moment. Finally, you can use three different runes to add a value of one to any attribute or to recruit a new army. Step four of your player turn is going to be to activate an army. So what we mean by activating armies is moving it or increasing its value, but only if it's in a region with a settlement. Finally, players can take one of the special actions or they can build a monument. So building a monument basically resets the game and it's very similar to Lords of Hellas if you've played that. Your special actions, there's six of them, and as I mentioned, they're associated with the realms on the board, are as follows. We can mobilize, so activating all of our armies on the map. We can prepare, which allows you to heal injuries, increase your armies and settlements, draw combat cards, or gain a chosen rune. We can usurp, which is to take control and recruit an army in a region where your hero is located. But to do this, our might has to be equal or higher than the population or army strength of the region, which I mentioned before. Fourth, we can build a temple. So like I said, one of the Ragnarok conditions in this game is to build five temples. Building temples is great because you get priests, so we're gonna wanna do that a lot. And if you have a site where you have control and there is a shrine there which are denoted by these glowing little circle areas you can build a temple there and also gain a priest your fifth action is going to be to recruit which again allows you to place an army with a strength that's equal to your authority so that's going to be our first attribute in any region adjacent to your drakkar or in a region with a settlement. Uh, what's important is that the settlement needs to be a settlement that you already control. And again, if you recruit to an area adjacent to your Drakkar, it can be any of those that adjacent to the sea where your Drakkar is located. Let's talk about building monuments. This is an extremely important part of the game basically our way to reset everything that's happening on the board throughout the game. So instead of taking a special action, a player can elect to build a monument. The monuments are important because they are going to allow us to upgrade our attributes. Each monument is associated with a separate attribute, and the more levels they have built on their monument are going to give us better benefits when we send our priest there to pray. If you've played Lords of Hellas, you remember having the action wheel on your player board. It's now in the center of the board, obviously, on this map. You can still only place one control token in each action spot. So what building a monument does is clears all of those control tokens off of that action wheel so that you can claim those actions again. 
All right, so I've talked enough about these attributes without actually telling you what they mean. So we have three attributes here located on our player board, or at least we're going to be tracking them on our player board. First on our attribute track, we have authority. So our authority is associated with Odin. So when we pray to Odin, we'll be able to upgrade our authority. And this attribute matters because our authority is going to allow us to recruit better armies. So our armies will always come out with their value associated with our authority level. Second, we have might. Our might attribute is associated with Thor. And this is going to be important for our hunting. When we hunt, we can draw a number of combat cards that's equal to our might value. And when we usurp, so again, that's taking our hero and actually using that action, we'll usurp to take control of a region. We're comparing the population or the army strength to our might value, not any army value or anything like that. Finally, we have wisdom. So for wisdom, we're praying to Freya. And with our wisdom attribute, this is going to limit the combat cards and runes that we can have at a given moment. Now, even though it says at a given moment, you'll see this when we do our hunting, you can have more cards during the hunt, but this will be the number that we need to draw down to. And it'll also be our hand limit for throughout the game. We'll want to get that up so that we have enough combat cards to defend ourselves from other players. Finally, let's take a look at the monsters we'll be playing with this game. We've randomly drawn Grendel, Fafnir, and Hati and Skull. A concept to understand in Lords of Ragnarok that was not in Lords of Hellas is that players can actually control the monsters now. What that'll mean is that the player who controls that monster will be able to draw cards and choose combat cards during the hunt and will also be able to manipulate that monster, potentially stomping on other players throughout the game. Each monster card has a variety of features that are important when we do our hunt or when we want to control the monster. So the first symbol that's important is this one in the upper right. So that's gonna be the rune that we want to spend if we want to control this monster. Then we have our special attacks, the attacks on the region, and the rewards. So in Hati and Skull's case, uh, the regional attack, which will occur either when the controlling player decides they want to do a regional attack, or when the die is rolled uh, if the monster is neutral. In this case, the controller of the region with Hati and Skull will discard one combat card and one rune. After that, move Hati and Skull to another region with a monument or a temple. So each monster is a little bit different. When we do our hunts for the monsters, we're going to ultimately want to discard combat cards with symbols that match the symbols on the bottom of the monster's card. And again, each monster is different, has different requirements for the kill. And in some cases, we actually have a little bit of text underneath of the wounds, and that will give us some bonuses after the hunt, whether we're successful or not. All right, with that, I think you have a pretty good understanding about what we're getting ourselves into, and we are ready to take us to the table and show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. I feel like I was just here. We were just here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you should have a pretty good idea of what the game's about. Yes. And how the turn structure works and how the actions work, right? Right, because we are ready to jump into this. Because we're ready to jump in. So we've already set up the table. All we have to do is just go through the um, the player setups that we have. Yes, and our individual variable player powers, I think. Our right, variable so. player powers, the um, Ragnarok requisites, and then go, right? Yeah. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and lead us off and tell us... Okay. What you have. Sounds good. So I am playing as Lagerta. She is the shield maiden. She's fierce. And my special ability is that my armies in a region with Lagerta, which my, with my hero, can be activated as if they were in a region with a settlement. So again, when you're activating armies and beefing them up, you can only do that in settlements. And with Lagerta, she can kind of train them up anywhere. She's that good. 
All right. Uh, we all have an origin story as well, so I'll go over mine. Uh, this is just kind of like a very the start of your game. Mm -hmm. Mine, uh, I start with controlling one chosen realm, and I've chosen Muspelheim down at the bottom here. All right. Right. And we... what is what does Muspelheim do? <laughs> what benefit are you? Getting from that? <laughs> Muspelheim is uh, associated with the action, uh, the monster action, and the benefit is to increase one of your army's strength by one. Right. If so the first takes that, person to yeah. take that action, she will get that bonus. Yes. Okay. Oh. Great. So I am. Uh, I'm playing Ragnar Lothbrok, and just Ragnar in the game, but and. Uh, <laughs> And Ragnar, we uh, whenever I take over a settlement, a region with a settlement, uh, I will draw a combat card. And for my story, I chose the one that lets me have two runes of the same type. And I chose the fish rune. And that's, I don't know if that's really what they're called, but they look like fish. So, the fish rune. Yes. Yeah, there's three runes. The fish, the Y, and the lowercase n. Yes. And so we will refer to this from here on out as the fish. <laughs> um, and finally, the character I'm playing is Snorri the Scald. And his special ability is an army in a land with Snorri do not lose its strength when it's stomped by a monster and for losing a battle. So I do not lose strength for losing a battle, uh, which is good. Uh, his origin is Loki San. So start with. I made that sound very Japanese. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Start with controlling one chosen monster. And who have you chosen to control? So, I've chosen to control Fafnir. So if you look on the board, you'll see I have a my little blue ring around the boot of Fafnir. So I will control this monster at my will Excellent. to stomp those who are in my way. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, do you want to go over where we started on the board? Sure. So, right. yeah, the way, the way we set up our, uh, our players. It's basically you, you take two of your troops at level one unless you have an ability that increases that um, and your hero and you start them at any um, any basically any region mm -hmm. that is um, adjacent to the water and uh, which because it has to be adjacent to your ship yes, in the water exactly. and then you would put both of them there plus your hero and if your troop strength mm -hmm. which it's all for all of us is two because they're, they're worth one each in the beginning right uh, is equal to or greater than the strength of the population mm -hmm. in a neutral territory, which in the beginning they're all neutral, you automatically take control. Right. So I chose this area because I obviously would like to control it and mm -hmm. possibly build a temple. That's I point. see. Uh, where, did, where did you start, Brian? So I started over here in the uh, my bottom left. Yep. And it's a level two settlement. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I was the first player, so I chose this location because I liked its regional area, and it was away from all the monsters on, on the far right. Yeah, yeah. Which all happened to not for long. Be over there, yeah, so. not for long. Yeah, I just I wanted to be away from them at the time. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, and I started uh, up in, in the northeast, I guess, or northwest. That'd be the northwest. That'd be the northwest. Uh, I also started in a temple region. <coughs> well. And we're all obviously we're we're kind of limited. If you want to gain control, you've got to yes. take a. a, a a place that has a two or less. Well, two right. is the lowest, right? Yeah. Um, unless you actually were able to start with the. I think your one character gave you additional. Yeah, strength. the one one of my one of the origin bonuses I think gives you a. You can start a level higher, um, but you're still limited because we can only start on these like coastal regions. Yep. So. So I think that's it. We each mm -hmm. have one combat card to start. Uh, we all have two of each of our stats, yep. our base stats. So um, I think we're ready to go. So Brian, yeah, why don't you lead us off? Um, yeah, with the first turn. So the first player action I can do is I can prayer, uh, which is pick up a rune with your hero or send a priest. I don't have uh, a priest to send, nor are there runes on my territory, so we're going to skip that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use my hero. So I can either move my hero or my Drakkar, and I don't think moving my Drakkar is much value. So we're going to send my hero up to zone two. Ooh. We're just gonna go say hello like, to Francis. I, I told like her I didn't go hang out want this her. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want her to go up there, and so we're just gonna head up there. All right, up you go. And so I'm going to then uh, use my rune to take control of a uh, monster in this realm. Ah, no, you're not. So because one, why not? Because 
The runes that you have are fish, and that is Grendel. I thought that was a Grendel fish. No, no, no. Well, Grendel, Grendel, Grendel requires a Y. All right, give me Y's now, then. I want Y. Would you like Y's? Because <laughs> I know you're... Oh, yeah. yeah. The, whole, the whole the whole point of this was I to get Grendel. I knew you were here. <laughs> we'll, we'll, let you, we'll let you start with Y's instead. <laughs> All right, so... Okay, now I'm taking Grendel. All right, so you just took... All so right. his action was the uh, the monster. Well, hold on. You, you did... You moved up there. Mm-hmm. Yep, and, and then I'm doing step three runes. Use a set of runes, one. Yep. Oh, to, to uh, take, take control. control. Okay, all right, yep. cool. Yeah, so you did a take rune control action. Of a Just monster. so everybody can follow along. Yeah. Rune actions are like executive actions. Yep. If you have the runes to pay for it, you can do it. Exactly. And I blame this, the because I'm 3,000 miles away, that's why I can't see <laughs> oh, okay. quite as well. He's got really good eyesight, though. <laughs> he does. So then I'm going to activate an army, which I can move it or increase the value of an army. So I'm just going to increase... Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to increase one of those guys from one to two, please. Oh, right. Because uh, he is on a settlement that he controls, he can do that. Yes. Um, and now your special action. So now he gets to take a wheel action. He gets to take an action. So, by activating all my armies, does that mean I can move all of them? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then when I do that, do I do I take control of a region immediately if I if yes. I uh, if your strength so is I'm greater? Gonna, yeah. So I'm going to activate. I'm going to mobilization, okay. and I want to activate all my armies on the map. Okay. And okay. I'm going to send them straight them. on into twenty. Oh. Wow. Okay, I yeah. figured. Yeah. That's so you're going to go one, two, and you're going to take control. And I'm going to take control of that Here. temple region. Okay. Yep. yep. So he nice. now has a strength of three. Somebody's he, been uh, studying. Yeah, he's, he's got his... Hey. hey, hey ooh. <laughs> it's, not like I, it's not like I have some time to plan this out. Brian's like, I've been working all day. <laughs> yes. I'm all right. On the game. <laughs> so Brian's done. It's my turn. So I'm going to skip the prayer because I don't have any things I need. Now I can move my hero. Uh, and I will. I think I will go... Actually, do I... Do I want to move? Yeah, I guess I could. I'll move my hero here. Mm-hmm. And... You know what? No, I'm going to move him down here. So I'm going to go down to, to Jotunheim Realm. And then uh, I don't want to do... I don't have any runes, so I can't do a rune action. Uh, but I can activate an army. I will raise him to strength three. Or I could have brought a new one in, but... I don't oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, strength two, a, rather. That's sorry. A, strength two. That's a temple region, my friend. Oh, you're right. I can't yeah. do that. Good call. Good call, Bri. So I have to, all I can do with them is move them then. Yep. Yeah. That's interesting. So I'm not going to do that. I'm a, uh, you know what? I can do that. I can do this. I can bring in a troop because my Draugr's here. And I can recruit a troop. What did you spend to do that? Oh, that's activate. Oh, that's activate. Yeah. So activate, I, I would have to do an actual recruitment yeah. action. So. Or spend a bunch um, of rings. Yeah. So this is all I can do here is move an army or increase an army strength. Uh, so I don't want to take the um, the action to to recruit. Okay. I'm actually going to take the action to build a temple. Okay. So we'll do that. So I will take one of the temples. So there's a temple track here. So take temple number one, build it here in my region, gain a priest into my pool. Okay. So he actually will go on my little player board here. And that's it. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so for my turn, I have no runes and I have no priests to send, so I won't do any of that. Um, thinking if I want to move my hero, and I don't know that I do. Um, do I want to move my boat? That's my next question. No, I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right where it is. So I'm not going to do that either. Um, I have no runes, so I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, I am going to activate an army now. I'm in a temple region, mm. but again, my special ability is that if my hero is there, then I can activate my armies and, and upgrade, uh, even if I'm not in a settlement. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's about level two. And my special action, I'm also going to build a temple. Mm. We're just moving along on the temples, aren't we? So yep. we do it, man. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and build your temple. Yep, and I think because I covered up your token, you actually get a rune. I get a rune. That's, yeah. Yep, I will take any rune that I want. So I'll take a Y. <clears throat> 
That's it. Okay, Brian. Okay, so for prayer action, I do believe I'm standing on a forge. I can't sure tell are. if I am or not. Yes. Is that a, is that a fish forge? Yep. Yep. Okay. So he gets to, Great. Uh, he gets to pick up go. that room. So, to steal that from Francis. And then what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to move my hero just one back. I believe that's a Y. Is that a Y ally up there? Um, I mean, yes, I, this realm, Alfheim? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to sit him back there, and I want to ask him if they want to become allies by sharing yes. my realm. Spend my room. room and share his realm with I, them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so now I have an ally up here. Realm yeah. I really, I really didn't want Francis to be up in this corner. I told her not to go I up there. I see that, yeah. He's slowly pushing her out. <laughs> that, right. That's fine. I'm beefing up you my You guys can take stuff. that entire side of the board, I don't mind. <laughs> Okay, so I've already moved my hero, so runes. I can use runes to do stuff. Um, you have one rune, so you could either take over a monster or ally a realm, right? And that's what you did with that first game. Yeah, so I did I did do that. You're right, you're right. So I'm done with that. Activating an army. <sighs> There's not a lot that I want to do here. So I'm going to move my army that's a level 1 back to section 18. Okay. Uh, okay, so this one's going Pulling back to back. 18. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then for my special action, I'm also going to build a temple. Ah, let's look at that. Very nice. And I will take... Runes galore, right? Yes. I'll take the... Um, the Y rune. The Y rune. Do I get one as well? Because he's on top of you and um, me? Here. Actually, I'll take the fish. Thank you. I think you get one too. Now, my limit of runes is only two, so, yeah, so I have to be very thoughtful can. about what I want to do here. Um, I'll take the fish. Okay. Uh, and that's it for you, Bri? That should be done. Okay. All right, so point of clarification, I do not get this rune. We just yeah. double-checked, <laughs> and it's only the player who's, whose token gets covered up. At so, least for now. At least for now. That, <laughs> the rules using movie you magic, know. you didn't even know that, but we checked. <laughs> yes. You have no idea. We've got, we've got an extra set of eyes now helping us, though, this time. So let's start out here with my turn. I can either pick up a rune with my hero or send a priest. I'm going to go ahead and send a priest. I don't know who a rune is. All right, so this is... So this is... Um, which one is this? That is Freya. Freya, yeah. So Freya's here. Who's on the far left? Is that Thor? This is Thor, Thor. and then Odin is up Odin's top. top. Alright, yeah. so I I kinda wanna increase my might. So let's go with Thor, please. Okay. So basically level one Thor gives me one might. So I will And how up. many prayer slots are there available for There's two uh, per temple. Well two per monument. Okay. Um so I just took up one for Thor. So, but I do gain a might now. I have a, a, a might. Uh, that's like my, it's kind of like your strength, your might, your power mm -hmm. for, for doing certain things. So that was my first action as a, as a prayer. Now I can do the hero move. So where is he here? I'm going to, I'm going to stick out here and I'm going to go to a rune action. And I'm going to ally with these guys, Jutenheim with the Y and put my chip there. So now what this does, if somebody takes the build temple action, um, I can place a new army with the strength of one in any of my regions. So that's actually yeah, very powerful. Quite good. Um, now I can activate an army, which I don't think I need to. And I will then just do my special action, which I think I'm going to do a a recruitment. What so, did you say you could do because you upped your thing? My who? Sorry, and I was what? listening. I don't know what I said. You said something about recruiting your army with the strength of what? Oh, it's just for allying with Jutenheim. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I get to place a new army with the strength of one. Okay. So I'm doing the recruit, and now I can place a new army with a strength equal to my authority, which is two, in any region adjacent to your Drakkar. So now this is where I can start bringing in people. So my authority is two. It's my authority. Um, and I can actually come into any one of these yep. regions around here so I can bring him right here mm -hmm. and that will immediately gain control because he's a unit with the strength of two and that region is two so that's the end of my turn excellent to you to me so, thematically mm. I brought my little boat down here <laughs> I don't like that I don't I don't really like that move mm -hmm. by me 
Yeah. Well, I yeah. Know. I'm just it's, spreading it's my. It's a very big act of war. <laughs> well, this is well, a game. You guys of war. are yeah. This is a game of war. You guys are kind of <laughs> doing your thing up in the corner. So. All right. So let me see what I want to do. I think first. First and foremost, I oh I never. Oh my wait a priest. minute. So is he I'm allied? Sorry, uh, are you allied with Alfheim? By the way. He is out al of Alfheim. And I took the Alfheim. Uh, yeah, actions. so he gets a. What's his reward? Why? Oh, sorry. Oh, I uh, so get Brian, to you move. Can, you, no, no, no. You can heal one injury, or place your hero in any region, but not a realm. Oh, so you yeah. Win. I want to move me down to uh, seventeen, please. Oh wow, he's going straight. Oh down. wow. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's where I was about to go. Um, also, though, he was the the first token placed there, right? Doesn't that you gain? Yeah, that's why he's I doing that. I get the the reward. He gets the reward because this was the first. Oh, token that's right. Place. Only the first token pays. Yeah, the like reward. he yep. doesn't get that every time. No, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Only the first token. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we should clarify that these tokens will come off the board when we do a build monument action. So, we'll be triggering these awards multiple times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we do a monument. Which, okay. Yeah. Hopefully soon. Good <laughs> so I'm going to send my priest. To pray. And I'm going to pray, though, to Odin. He's up top. He sure is. All right, so that'll increase your authority. Yep. And what does your authority give you? Authority? That allows you to recruit armies with that particular strength. Mm -hmm. So my my authority is now three, so I can recruit armies up to three. All right, because when you recruit, they come out with your authority as their strength. Exactly. Which is good. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to move my... Move my hero. Yes. I'm going to remove my hero all the way down here. Boop. So, again, these are connected because this is a very big C. Hmm. So, with one movement, I can come down here to 17. Yeah. And I have one rune, but I'm not going to spend it. Uh, I can activate one army, which I will do. Um, I'm not going to increase the value, but I'm going to move it. So I'm going to move this army. I'm going to move my two or my one, I think. Send mm. your one over. <laughs> well, it's not really going to matter. You got all that region on the north. I, I will send my one down because I want to train them up as well. Oh, jeez. And I've got my hero down here anyway, so. Yeah. We'll just it's do that. It's an act of war. That's it. <laughs> this is an act of war. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. And then for my special action, I'm going to recruit. So I'm going to take the recruit action as well. Oh. So you're going to get a rune. Uh, I will you. take a... Hmm. And that's going to allow me to recruit an army with a power of three I'll take the lower case. to this region, which hmm. allows me to take control because it has a population of a four, and I have an army strength of four. So what did you do? Wow. I took control of that region. Oh, because your army. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Francis, that was a uh, move. Did you do mobilization? Is that what you did? Or recruit? I did recruitment. Oh, you did recruitment. But okay. for my activated army, I moved the troop down. All right. What are you going to do, Brian? I, I, I smell war. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had well, a plan. Fight, I'm not so. going to do the plan just yet. What I'm going to do, I can either pray or pick up a rune. Mm -hmm. uh, Francis doesn't have a priest, and so I'm going to try to block her. I'm going to pick up this rune okay. here, this N. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't want her to take that from me. That's and if fine. I <laughs> send my priest, then I'm going to be screwed. And then I'm going to send my guy down here to this ally location and uh, give him my fish just to the left of Francis's number 17. Um, okay, oh. so you're going to bring him down here, an ally, yeah. in this region. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we I don't know why I'm ally. putting that there. Here. So, yep, so he is now okay. allied with, what is that, Svart Svartelheim? Svartelheim. Yeah. Svartelheim. Svartelheim. <laughs> uh, right. one, one of my rune actions there, and then I'm going to activate an army. We're just going to activate the army that's on my settlement and increase him up. This uh, one? Up to a two. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Smart, smart. And for your special... And then for my special, so I've done, what color am I? I am green. Mm -hmm. 
Um, have I built a temple yet? You have... I don't see my temple built... on the board. Yeah, you have a chip on build a temple, like you just did it. I he never took the build yeah. a temple action. You never took the action. What did oh, you he do? did take the build a temple action, didn't he? I, Where'd you build I a temple? I did take it. Because three I of us something I got. I think we're supposed to have a draft right now. Oh, you did one here. <laughs> did, when did he build yeah. that? When did you build that, Brian? I don't know if I. I don't know. I didn't build it. I didn't build. It. I think I took control of it. I don't no, I because it. you have you a token. Have, you have a token there. Build, mm. build temple. We'll have to check the uh, audio logs. I don't remember. <laughs> because you're like, oh, I don't want to send my priest out. I'm like, you don't have a priest. Mm. I thought I had a priest. I the thought, only way you I get a priest is sure. by building a temple. What are the two Very things beautiful. I've done? I guess you did one. You must have built one here. I'm going to say you built one there. All three of us built I a did, temple. I did a mobilization, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And then I thought I did a build a temple. You, you did, but you have, never yeah. actually yeah. built the you temple. You never actually did it. You're just like, I'm going to well, build guys, a temple. Well, guys, you're the ones who do it for me. Yeah, that was, <laughs> our, that was our bad. We missed it. So, yeah, so we, we were supposed to actually priest. do a draft. So why don't we do yeah, that? let's do that now. Um, so to do a draft, and it's when you uncover the third temple, is I basically have to shuffle all these three ducks together. They're like blessings. These are the blessings yeah. from all the different gods. And we are going to draw number of players plus one. Mm -hmm. And then... He's going to actually get first dibs because he's the one who revealed it. Yep. And then we each goes in player order. We each get to get one. So yeah. let's uh, let's go one, two. Well, let's shuffle these a little bit better. <laughs> I just pulled out all blue ones. So. Well, it's um, like you shuffled them back to their Yeah, back to position. how they were. <laughs> should all probably right. cut it and then... You should cut. <laughs> yeah? All right, here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good enough. All right. All right, so, Bri... I will hold these up. So you've got four choices here. You can uh, either... After you gain a battle, gain a rune, uh, battle, uh, what does it say? In battle, In when battle. you play a combat card, you may discard a rune to add plus one to the strength value of that card. Okay. Cool. When Victory you win issues. a hunt, heal all but one injury. That's interesting. That's and then draw one combat card at the start of your battle if you do not have any combat cards. Always prepare. That one's poopy. <laughs> <laughs> in battle, when you play a combat time. card, I'm gonna do runic weapon. That's okay, yeah, weapon. that that was probably the best one. So that'll be your your permanent blessing. I get to choose one. I'll take. Um, uh, after you uh, draw a combat card, as you start your battle, if you do not have any combat cards, I like that one. I have a clarification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I gain control. I draw combat cards. When I gain control of a neutral settlement, so should I have two combat cards if we all start with one? How many if neutral settlements 18, did you take? I have one. Well, I started off with number 18, right? I took that one, that neutral settlement. 18. Yeah, so you, we'll give you a card to start with that, and then you take, did you take a second one just now, no. right? You have each we, all should, we all should have one card. We all start with one? Yeah. Yep. And then I've taken one neutral settlement. Okay, the then you temple, get one. I don't think temples don't the count. The temple don't count, so no. I should just have one. I just yep. have one settlement. All right. Yep. So mm. you have your second card. I'll take this victory's chronicler. The chronicler. The chronicler. Mm, interesting. Okay. So then this is trash. I'll discard that, and then that's it. That's the draft. So Brian can finish his turn. He wants to take a special action, right? Yeah. That's where we left off. So I've done mobilization and build a temple. Mm -hmm. I am going to... My hero's way down here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to recruit. Okay. Place a new army on my settlement, actually. Okay. Well, you get a rune. Settlement, eight, settlement 18. All right, Comes out strength with two. of two. There you go. And I get a rune for that because yeah, we want... covered up my chip. Um, I will take like a Y maybe. The Y. All right. Sure. Um, interesting. Could we have could we have multiple people with allies or just one person with an ally? I think multiple, multiple people, players can yeah, ally. They can ally with everybody. Yeah. They, you don't okay. really. They, they're they're. They can't. They're not like controllable. Yeah, That's they why don't really, it's uh, their allies. So. They don't really care. They're happy to to be everybody's friend. <laughs> Uh, so let's start up here. So I'm going to, I can either pick up a rune or send a priest. I don't have a priest. Um, my hero, I will move him here. I will do, I could do a rune action, take control of a monster, or ally with a realm. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, 
Heroes can move two spaces. Is that is that the trick? Heroes can move two spaces, yes. Or your draw card can move two. Uh, I can bring him up here. I'll do that. And then from up here, I will activate an army, move it. I'll take one of my armies and move them here. And then I will uh, do my special action, which is going to be usurp. Hmm. So I'm doing the usurp action, which basically you take your hero, compare their might mm -hmm. to the neutral region. Three, three, I win. I've converted this region. You sure have. To me. So that's how, the only way your hero can take over um, the settlement, really. So nice. now I own this settlement. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. All right. So with that action, I have an ally that uh, responds to that. I think I draw something. Yeah, so if you look at where it points, it's the easy way in the wheel if you line it up. So yep. whatever that says, what is draw, draw yeah, one so combat card. Yeah, so you draw a combat card. All right, so Brian so, has. So uh, I'm, and I'm going to be at my hand limit, so yeah. I have to discard down, right? Yep, so you have to choose. So we're going to get rid of Spear, the far right one. Spear, okay. okay. Spear is gone, and you are sitting on two cards. All right, so, um, that's, it. so that's it. It is now your okay. turn. All right, so I am not <laughs> any longer in a region with a rune, unfortunately. No, oh, he left. So yes, the rune <laughs> has departed. A rune is gone. <laughs> it's gone. Um, I can move my hero or my draw card, but again, I I'm not sure I I necessarily want to do that. Um, can your hero ride in your jakar? I think you could use he, it as a bridge. Yeah, he kind of does. That's like that's how. You can use your Drakkar as a bridge as from a bridge, one really. land to another. You are or, you are anything adjacent. Anything adjacent that's touching that, yeah, that water. To anything that your Drakkar is adjacent to in that river, right. in that ocean segment. Exactly. So I could technically like move this guy here in one move because right. he takes the Drakkar. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will keep my hero where my hero is, and I'm going to spend two different runes right here. Oh, to, so do a rune action with two different runes. What is that? To draw two combat cards. Oh, okay. Whoa. Actually, do I want to draw two combat cards or do I want to up my army strength? I think I might up my army strength instead. Because that's more permanent, and I can only hold two combat cards. Yeah, so you're only going to get So it doesn't make much sense. Um, the question is, which army do I want to beef up? I don't know. I think I'll beef up this guy, because I have a feeling he's going to be leaving us pretty soon. He's going to be leaving the settlement. So oh, I'll bump okay. him up to a four. Um, um, I will activate an army. So I'm going to go ahead and move this guy here. Oh, oh wow, she's going right after me. And oh, this God. triggers. I was watching that hard. Mm. A battle. Triggers battle, okay. For Ragnarok. This is a battle for Ragnarok. <laughs> no, it's not a battle for Ragnarok. <laughs> okay, so we automatically fight. Yes. Um, defending army plays their card first. Yes. And I will play the spear. Okay. It just gives me a, a, a value of three and one casualty. So you go ahead. Okay. So. And this always confuses what's your, me. What's, so. your, what's your army value right my, now? I'm sorry, my army value three. is two. Her army value is four. So with my card, that's a three. My army value is now five. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, my card, I'm playing mm -hmm. not as deep. Because like, I have to keep, I have to give you a chance to pass, right? Or you play no. as many cards as you I, can. I play, then you get to play. And then I get to play. And then you get to play. We could Any of us pass at any time, but once you pass, you're done playing cards. And then that's it. And that's it. Right. And then we resolve. The, the, the hunt is a little bit different. Than very, very different. The yeah. player one. And I always get the two confused. Yep. So. Okay, so I'll play this card, which is my bow. Mm -hmm. Or actually, it's my archers when we're doing battle. So your opponent's army suffers one loss immediately. Mm. And it cannot be removed that way. I guess in any way. In any way? <laughs> okay, so then he automatically takes a wound down to one. And that gives me plus one. And that gives you plus one, so that brings you to five, and that brings me down to four. So that's the only way you're able to win that combat. Very lucky. Well, it's not that lucky. I planned it. But you didn't know what my card was. I know. If it was a four. Oh, my God. But it could have been a four. It could have been. Um, 
That's the cost of doing so battle. So actually now we have to resolve. So I actually take one casualty just for losing the battle. Right. Plus I would have also taken a, taken one for this card. So he would he, he dies anyway. So he comes off the board. Your card's gone. Now what would have happened think, if you had um, still had health left? You would have uh, been required to move to an adjacent settlement mm. that um, that I own. That you own. But none here. That you don't have one. So you would well, and I'm curious if the Drakkar could have used him to send him back up. If he could use. Oh, I could. Yeah, I could have just taken my Drakkar and moved him over here, because my Drakkar yeah. is in this water. That's not a settlement, though. Uh, any it could be any realm, any region that you control. Oh, that's Doesn't true. Doesn't have to be yeah, a settlement. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. So I could have actually gotten him out of there. But yeah, but he's dead. But he died. And then I take control because your control marker was there, so yeah. I don't have to worry about the population. Uh, so but, now she's so. really forcing my hand to, well, to move my monsters down there. Well, we have to demonstrate how this stuff works, well, right? Well, then I have to demonstrate how the monster works. Hey, I think you should. I think you should. Um, uh, I have to finish my turn, and I'm not going to do a special action. I'm going to build a monument. All right, good, good. And I'm going to build Odin. Odin. Oh, okay. And then, uh, Francis, make sure before you get too far yeah. that you reduce... Uh, each player will decrease the value of their armies that fought in the battle by one. Ah, no matter what. So, so, so your four becomes a three. Just from the fight. That's, really? So the player, who, the, player, the player who lost loses uh -huh. one, and then, and then, then both players one? lose one. Oh. Yeah. I may not have always done that um, when we've played before. Well, yeah. let me read it. So yeah, that's one. okay. I trust you. I lied. No, you're right. You're right. I'm right. It's only the player who right. loses. Okay, it says so. for each casualty it's symbol. For each, for each that's casualty exactly it. symbol. Right, right. You so are 100 percent right. Okay. Okay. You are 100 percent right. I always ignore me. I, <laughs> I I always get gaslighted too. Much. I'll put I'll put the PDF away. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So building a monument. I just built the first level of. Yep. Uh, Mr. Odin there. So Mr. Odin uh, is So what happens when we, when we build a monument? Let's go through this. Okay. So every player is going to remove their priests from all from monuments. All so monuments. you're going to take and your they monument. they are gone. And they are gone, gone, gone. Um, the player who triggered the monument or built the monument mm -hmm. does get to keep um, a priest or get a priest for each temple that you they control, control temple yeah. region that they control. Um, and I control one temple. So, so I get to take my one priest. One priest. Uh, we remove all of our control tokens yep. from the so that control clears the board. action wheel. And this should seem very familiar if you've played yes. Lords of Hellas. Uh, recharge our artifacts. We don't have any right now. Refresh all the rune forges on the board. So can we grab some runes? Uh, yeah, We've what do we need? Fish. We need a fish. We have an N. A lowercase N. Um, what do you I have think on your that's side? It. Yeah, no, I didn't take any runes. Oh, okay. So. Cool. And then the other thing that I think I get to do is take that rune, right? So you get I get to pick up pick the runes, up runes from the forges they control. So I control, control this forge yep. and I get so to take that. So you get a little, that. a little bit of bonus for, uh, for doing it. A little bitty bonus. Um, and then draw, uh, draw and resolve an event card. Yep. So here's this our first event. Yeah. So we've got activate, activate Loki. Yes. <laughs> so Loki moves right. uh, two. Two. Yeah. So, um, hold on. Where's he at? He's here. Yes. Yeah, so He's he, at uh, fourteen. Yeah. So he moves two spaces. Uh, well, actually, we're gonna roll the neutral die because nobody controls him, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he may move or he may do his attack on his a region. Region attack. So. Do you roll for him? Yeah, roll for him. So he's right, gonna he's move. He's gonna move. Yeah. So where does he move? Yeah. All right, so I do get to control Loki, mm -hmm. which means he's definitely not going to come stomp on my people. Hmm. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, I think he's going to come over here and go. Does Loki have the stomp ability? Yeah. Or is, yeah. It, is that a keyword? It's every monster oh, wow. when they move. And Loki moves too. For every region they move into, they stomp the, the one of the... Soldiers, troops the, here. The guys. Yeah, so he only has one health, so he, he, one would lose a health. Had he been in, in the same space as my hero, he mm -hmm. wouldn't have taken any damage. That was probably so Francis so just good idea, dominated right? you? Yeah, so no. Like, I, that's what any any normal person would do, right? Well, yeah, but they're all going to activate now. So Fafnir yes, so Fafnir is mine. Is yours, so, so I'm going to start, away. he's going to start his march. One space at a time. <laughs> and they can... West. <laughs> 
west or he's coming. He's coming west. <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna take care of it. And they cannot jump on your draw card. Nope. So um it. and also keep a note, when you draw it, it's gonna say place a monster. Like mm -hmm. so here it says place Grendel. We already have Grendel on board, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um but we would have had we actually didn't have him on the board. Yes. Uh the uh, so the dragger we don't have out yet, so we're not gonna move and the troll's not out yet, so this is not gonna move. Right. Um, now, something else to mention that I don't think we've brought up yet is that Loki has a, a rune symbol associated with him as well, and it's that lowercase n mm -hmm. looking thing. And if you're in the same region as Loki, you can assign that rune, and what that does is allow you to place Loki on any region. Mm -hmm. to get so him nobody can out. control him, but you can kind of move him around and manipulate him that way. Um, oh, right. yeah, place Loki on any region on the board. That's super small. Yeah, yeah. Um, Where do you see that, Brian? It's, it's underneath the attack, attack on yeah. region uh, section of Loki's player card. Yep. Oh, okay. Card. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's we can check text. the Ragnarok requirements, and we do not have any of them met. I know we're getting close we're on getting temples. Getting close on temples, yeah. But uh, we've definitely not killed any monsters. Nope. <laughs> so do we, do we only activate one monster? Is that right? No, we activated two. There's a list of four on Loki, the card. Loki and Fafnir. Yeah, Draugr and Troll with the other two, which are not on the board. Correct. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So, so is that's it, it back that's to me. Turn. It's back to you, Brian. Yep. Where are you okay, going? Okay, guys. So everything's going great for here in Clan Ragnar, uh, <laughs> Ragnar Lothbrok. <laughs> So really what we're looking for is we got to play to our strengths, and that's card drawing. Um, so mm. we're going to send our priest over to Freya, which is going right. to give us some more wisdom. Mm. That's going to increase our, like our wisdom plan. track. Yep, there you go. And we You're waited. We purposely waited for this because we knew Francis <laughs> was going to build a monument. We didn't want to risk losing uh -huh. our, our priest. So everything is going Good great. Play. Good play. Right according to plan, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> according to plan. Everything is going really well. So we're going to prayer. And now I get to move my hero or my jakar. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I have yet to learn the value of the jakar. I haven't, I'm not used to doing that. So we're going to keep not doing that. Mm. <laughs> okay. And we're going to move my hero. Where uh, is the you best place to You are down here. Move my hero? Yeah, I'm super um, far. Can I? I can far. ride my Jakar, right, with my hero. Yeah, can, can I go well, up? Yes. Anywhere adjacent to oh. the Jakar hey, is, is here, adjacent to you. Here. Yeah. You know, really I want to go here. visit my pet Grendel. Can I go? Can you send you my hero? You could definitely do that. Yeah, yeah. you're going over here. Just, Boom. just send me right on up there. Boom. Okay. Boom. You know, we're just cruising. <laughs> and now I get to use runes. How many runes do I have? Uh, none. So I can't even use a set of runes to do anything. Gosh, yeah, you don't I am any. awful you don't, at this. Oh, game. you have one. I've got one. One rune. <laughs> wow. But you're already okay. you already have that monster. And you can't do anything. With I know. I can't do anything with it yeah. anyways. But I just need to know. Well, I'm gonna activate an army. So uh, can you give me a break breakdown on what my army strengths are? I can't quite see them. Yeah, sure. So down here in 18, you have two armies with a level of two. In 20, okay. you have an army with a level of two. Okay. And that's it. So we are going to buff up one of my armies to three that's in my settlement of 18. You got mm. it. So we're going to activate that army. And then we're going to zip around to my special action. Mm -hmm. And we are going to mobilization. Oh. Mobilize. Mobilization. There you okay. go. Um, so we're going to mobilize, and do I get the benefit of mobilization? No, you're not allied with them. I thought I, oh, I'm not yeah, allied. you're I'm allied, allied with, with Alfenheim. Alfheim? Yeah. This Alfheim, is no. okay. Vanaheim. Not Vanaheim. We'll, we'll hit that next time, don't worry. All right, so, so we're going to move, so we're going to mobilize, so we're going to activate all my armies. They can all move one. Okay. And so we're going to move my three, and uh, my three from 18. Uh-huh. And the guy from, I can't tell the number, the one, the one that's just directly above, 20, I believe 20. Yeah. And I move them both over into, uh, into... 19? 21. 21. Okay. Mm. Oh, I see what you're doing. Mm. I see what you're going and for I here. I believe I have enough power you do. to take control of that settlement. You yep. sure do. And he gets a card for that. Yes. And this is a neutral settlement, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Yes, and because you you now control a region with a monument, yes, who you is also that? get Thor's. You get Thor's card, Thor. his artifact. Everyth card everything is going artifacts. just to plan. 
I don't know what that does, but here during your turn, use use this. You can tap it or exhaust it if you will. Yes. Yeah. To deal one damage to any monster or draw one combat card. That's pretty. That's good. That's exactly That's like, what I so want to be doing. Right, you just got Mjolnir right on brand. Ooh. For that, Ragnar. That, that is Mjolnir. I'm feeling really good, guys. What about you? Well, feeling great, actually. Sure. All right. Automatically, how you're lifting that. But that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, switch it on over to you. Oh, you're done. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. It should be. Yeah. One, one thing I want to correct on my last turn is I remember I did an usurp action. Uh huh. Um, part of the usurp action is you also get a troop. And I never gave myself oh, that that's troop. That's right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's at true. my um, authority level, right? Okay, okay. So, I should have a strength to troop in there as well because i had moved one up moved my hero in and okay. the new sharp and you actually you basically get an army out of that action it's not just take over i'll the town. allow it well yeah of course you will <laughs> uh so what can i do here i do not have a priest so i can't do that there's no runes for me to pick up um i can move my hero and i probably should what is his strength three um i'm just going to keep moving along here because i think i think we need to do couple of things. What do we have? A two and a one. After you decimated my army, that hurts. Um, I'm going to come down here with my hero. Uh, I have a rune. I'm not going to use it. I can activate an army. So these guys I can activate. I'll bring him to a two. And then I will do another usurp action. Where is it? Usurp. So Brian gets to draw a combat card. Okay. So, you so get to, I think I'm maxed now on my combat cards, yeah, but um, let me see what this is. You have two, the doubles of the same thing. two cards. So just okay. pick one to get rid of. <laughs> um, get rid of sword. All right, there you go. All right, so I'm usurping this. I do have a, string, a might of three, so I will take that over. And I also get to bring out a level two troop as part of that action and my turn is over somebody needs to start hunting some monsters on this side of the board yeah I well think. only one monster really is huntable <laughs> on this side of the board so. uh, all right my turn yeah okay okay um all right still no runes here but i can send a priest out and i will do that so i'm gonna go pray to my Monument I've been working on up here. All right, so that is Odin, right? Yep. So you get one authority, and then you can increase your armies by a total of two points. Yes. So I will... So I'll increase this guy. And maybe this guy. Turn him to three. So you spread okay. the points out. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um, I can move my hero. I'll move her there. And I've got one rune. Can't really do anything with it. Um, See, I should have. The thing is, I I like to. Oh, I don't. I don't have to be there to activate my army. My hero doesn't have to be there. Mm -hmm. So I do own this settlement. So mm -hmm. I can actually. Hey, yeah, you just beef him beef up. Beef him. He's just sitting there training. Mm -hmm. And then for my special action, I think, I think I'm going to do, uh, there's so many things I want to do. I think I'll build another temple. I'm going to build a temple here. All right. And, and do you get a reward for that, Anthony? He does. Um, I do. So I have I get to place a, an army with strength of one in any of my regions. That's that great. Actually, quite nice. Yeah, that's uh, a good one. I'll put them right here. Boom. Yeah, it's a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. and We're limited to only six armies, right? But at least she's getting on the board. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, at least I can kind of spread out a bit. So you're up, B. Okay. So. Um, I think there's a rune I can pick up in this region I'm located. Yes. Is that accurate? Yeah, it is a fish. So we're going to go pick up that fish. Uh-huh. And, um, Francis, can you, I'm not, not uh, playing anything. Could you just let me know what that strength of that unit that's up there? Mine? Is that a, yeah, is that a, a one or a two? It's a three. 
It's a three. Yeah, okay. and also I want a battle, so I get to gain a chosen rune. My mm. battle I won against you. Mm-hmm. I'll just take like a Y. Oh no. What? A Y. Oh, oh my, my skill doesn't help me at all. Uh, I like have to have no combat cards. Uh, but at least it always what it, doesn't leave me. What is what does my hammer do? During your and turn. Does that refresh every turn? It'll no. refresh every build monument phase. Oh, yeah. monument, that's accurate. Okay. Or if, what it, does it uh, do? if somebody takes control over it and gets it. it, it During you your can, turn. Yeah, deal one damage to any monster, or you can draw a combat card. Okay. That's great. pretty good. I'm going to. Can you tell me what my powers, my heal, my strength are in number five? Sorry. I just that's can't okay. see what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five, no, so you, no, have no, you have a three and a two. You have a three and a two. Yeah. Three so and a two. And how many combat cards do you have, Francis? I have zero. Zero. <laughs> oh. Zero combat cards. And, your, and yours is a three? Yep. Okay, great. I'm not just asking questions. Not planning anything. Just asking questions. I'm going to go ahead That's and right. move my me. hero uh -huh. to... I uh -huh. want to send him up to the N ally up there. The oh, mobilization. This one here. V v Vanifying. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and give him my rune. Oh, okay. Wow. There you go. So we have highlight. literally controlled this whole region. I, I feel really confident about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I am going to activate one army. Mm. And then I'm going to move it using my boat. Uh -huh. And I'm going to just go say hello to Francis up there. All right. Are you moving your three, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, my three. All right. All right. Just move on over. And that's going to trigger combat. Okay. That is so, going to trigger combat. Mm -hmm. So um, she gets to play card first, right? Yep, I have no cards. No so cards. No so, cards. Brian, yeah, so, would you like to play a card? And so I have a card that I believe gives me two strength. Uh, they both do. Um, yeah. Go and use that one, sword. Let's go and just use sword. So this would give you plus two. plus two army strength, an additional two army strength, if your authority is higher than your opponent's, which yours is not. Yours so is not. You yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the plus two. That puts me up to f uh, five, right? Yeah. Yep. And that would that would win. And the that combat. just this win. All right. All right. So you. So I lose one. Lose one. And I retreat. And you would have to retreat to an adjacent, controlled region. So I can go down here. Yes, that, we're assuming so. Yeah, we're assuming yep. so. Yeah, your boat, your boat would get you there, but Brian then takes control of that yes. region, and it's not a neutral region, yeah. so you don't get your bonus, Brian. That's okay. It's totally fine. Wait, I have a, I have a, a temple. <laughs> That's what he wanted. <laughs> and so then, for my final action, yep. uh, I'm going to um, build a monument. All oh, right. Wow, he's building a monument. Which one? That's a good question. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. <laughs> so, uh, we're working on which one, Odin? I mean, we're working on all of them. Yeah, right now but... Odin's being built. I mean, I built Odin's part being built. of Odin, yeah. but... I feel like I, I'm really feeling Thor. You're okay. feeling Thor, okay. So Thor yeah. is by you, right? We're... Or is it by me? It's, it's by you, right? Because Freya's by me. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, they watch out that piece is... It's a, a prototype. Little, it's a little loose. It's just it's prototype. It's prototype. It's gorgeous prototype. All right. But it's still prototype. There. All right. So the base is on Thor. Very sure good. Sure is. Okay. So let me go back to the what's the rundown of how monument works. Build a monument. Okay. So build yep. a chosen monument. Each player removes the priests from all monuments. So get yep. all the priests back. Yep. Um, remove the control tokens from the action wheel. So these all come back. Mm -hmm. And then we refresh all rune forges on the board. So what do we need out here? We need a, a fish up in the upper left and an oh, N yeah. right there. And then after the rune forges get refreshed, builder of the monument gains one priest for each temple you control. Mm -hmm. And then you I get control the, two now. Two, so you're going to get two of your priests back. Uh, his Make sure you pull my, my priest out of Freya. Um, yeah, okay, so you're going to get one. The one, two. two. Um, and you get to pick up runes that you control, so he gets to pick up the fish rune. Uh, he doesn't control that. Oh, he doesn't I control can... Oh, he doesn't control He just that. has a monster there. No, 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 no. He doesn't control any I just rune control rune. a monster. No rune for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty unfortunate. Well, that, but... that is very <laughs> sad. So now we do an event card. Great. Yep. All right, so it is the Draugr. So the Draugr is going to come out um, in zone 12. So the Draugr... Oh, I know we got more monsters. That's yeah, awesome. there's, there's, there's two more. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, good job, Bri. Thanks. 
Uh, so he's going to come out right here where I am. I might have to take this thing out. Um, and then we're going to start activating. So Fafnir. Oh, good old Fafnir. He's just, just going to work his way working west. Working his way over. Your Grammy Drogger's uh, uh, card, and I'll add it to our collection. Okay, so then we have Hati and Skull. Okay. So roll the dice for Hati and Skull. And then Brian, and skull. Brian gets to move. move. Where do you want to move Hati and Skull, Brian? I'm going to move him right over to you. Oh, thanks. Oh, right here, I'm assuming. So he's going to yeah, knock. One of, my, gonna stomp. one of my armies <laughs> gets knocked down to by one. Stomp. That's the stomp. All right. So that's all he's going to do to me. And then um, the troll, which we don't have, so we're good on the event. Brian's turn is over. Perfect. And uh, now, because we have no, now we would check Ragnarok and it's none, but we're getting right. close. So, my turn. Oh, goodness. All right, so I am just not in a good way here. <laughs> really not. Can you move my combat card over so I can just see both of them? They're the same card, by the way. All right, perfect. Um, okay, so where do I want to go? This is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Um, man. So let's see. <laughs> move my hero or move my Jakar. I will move my hero. Thing is, that my guys are inland, so it's really hard for me to get around. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the fact that they're. That's a tough. There's, that's, area. That is a, that's a tough. That's a tough. That's a tough. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to move my hero. Um, I am going to activate one army, this guy, and I'm going to move him up here. Did you move your car or anything? Did nothing with that? No, I'm going to move my hero, actually. My hero can move two, okay. right? I'm going to move my hero up here as well. Nah, do I okay. Need? Yeah, I'm going to move my hero up here as well. Um, move my hero, activated my tr army, I just moved my army, and then my special action is build a temple. Build a temple. And do you get the reward for that? I do. Because it's mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to get to place an army of one strength in any region I control. And I will put him right here. And I'm going to get my temple. Boom. Nice. Temple number five has All been right. built. So and that, this uh, flips. And it's going to earn one me of our a priest. And I am done. All right. Hmm. So many things I want to do. Mm. So many things. Um, thinking of the best way to go about this here. All right, so I think first I'm going to pray to Freya, bump up my wisdom. Mm. Then I'm going to move my hero here mm. then I'm going to spend two runes to draw three combat cards please oh my gosh, oh my gosh. what are you doing <laughs> I'm playing Lords of Ragnarok oh god you're getting aggressive she is dude you, you say that it. as if this is a new thing all right, let's see. Um, and then I'm going to activate one of my armies. So I'm going to move an army. Actually, I'm going to move this army. Boop, right there. I immediately take control over that. And... Yep. It's looking like a juicy target. Yeah, right? Are you in my region? Oh, that's your hero. Sure yeah, it's is. your hero, yeah. And, what is your uh, special? I think for my special... I think I'm going to usurp. Oh no, Brian. Yeah, I'm going to do a usurp. Ooh. She's going to take so this So right Brian does get a you. combat card for this. But unfortunately, uh, his undefended temple is no longer his. It is now his. yours. So I'm going to recruit an army with a strength of four as part of this usurp. And I'm going to take control of this temple region. Wow, Brian, that hurts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm seeing, seeing how this works. Okay, so my turn? Mm hmm All right, well, we're going to go and send a priest. I should have two priests. You do? You mm -hmm. do? I'm going to mm -hmm. send one to Thor to okay. increase my might. might now, we're on level two of Thor. We are. We are. 
So you are also okay. going to get one combat actually, card, but you in can't. fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it backwards. I'm gonna go to Freya instead, actually. Okay. okay, so Freya first. Yeah. And you're gonna move. Well, Freya, yeah, that'll give you a, a hand limit of four now. Yeah, yeah, okay. just because I'm getting a lot of cards. Yep. And and you can then... draw a rune. Oh no no no. Never no, mind, she sorry. has not been built yet. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't done her thing. Yeah, nobody really not quite, cares not about quite her there yet. Yeah. <laughs> She's and, just like a um, floor. Could you give me a rundown of what my arm, army strength? Um, yeah, all my army strengths are. Yeah. So in 18, you have an army with strength of 2. In 21, you have an army strength of 2. And up in number 1, you have an army with a strength of 3. Oh, that's a pretty strong army. 2, 2, 3, is that what you said? Yep. yep. Okay. This is a hard, hard decision of what I want to do. And Would what's you, your army in 19? You have um, a 19, you have a... That's a 5. You have a 5. <laughs> <laughs> and my army in 20 is a 4. And my army is in 17. I've got two twos. And how many cards do you have in your hand? Three? Three. Ugh. All right. Thank you for that rundown. You're so welcome. I'm going to give you a basic idea. What my plan is, everyone, is I'm trying to play to the strengths. I want to get my might and my hand card limit up so I can play to my character's ability so I can eventually hunt monsters. I like but we that. have we have incursions in our lands. We have to deal with them. <laughs> we have to smite them away. <laughs> so I'm going to move my hero down to 19. Your hero? Mm. Coming down to yeah. 19. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna move hero down to nineteen, and then I uh, don't rune action. I I have one rune. You have one. That's all I have. One rune. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do anything with one rune. So I'm gonna activate an army. I'm gonna move my army from my settlement over into nineteen. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh wow. All right, we're just gonna say hello, Sounds and that's gonna trigger combat. It is. Sure yeah. is. So defender plays first. Let's see. Don't show her my cards. Now when it says a casualty, does that mean decreasing your army strength or actually at the end of your, well, once combat when your army yeah. completely dies? Now, after the combat, everybody suffers it, win or lose. Like you're gonna suffer the card, the casualties on your cards. He's gonna suffer the casualties on his cards played. Oh, and the okay. Thing is, okay. You can't play yeah, more. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. Okay. It, when I see the text casualty, it confuses me. Okay. Um, but I, I see. That. And that's an army of value of three. Or that's four? a five. That's a five. She has a five. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, uh, defender plays first. Um. All right, I'll play a shield. So she's playing okay. a shield. So after the battle... Say? I protect my army from one casualty after right. the battle. And it's, it's just one strength. So she's now at an army strength of six. So what is your choice? All right, I'm going to go and play Axe. All right, Axe. So gain one additional army strength if your hero is in the land in which the battle is taking place. Gain two instead if your hero is in the region in which the battle is taking place. So he gets two more strength with this card. Okay. So yeah, it's so plus four. Two plus two is four. So he's now at a six. You guys are tied. Your turn. Oh, right. Um, Ty's defender wins? Yes. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I will bring out my archers. Mm -hmm. So my opponent army suffers one loss immediately. Okay, so he goes down to a one. What are you going to play next, Bri? And that's plus two. Uh, I'm going to play the same card again. So he's playing another axe. Okay. So he's going to go up an plus additional four. four points. So now he's at... Nine. How's he at nine? What is he at? I just well, four. One. Yeah. It's just four. Four is eight. Plus one is nine. Eight. That How's each, that four? Because he gets two, two plus two. It's two plus an additional two if his hero is in that region. His hero is. Oh, okay. So now he's so, got nine. Nine. Okay. And I, oh, and I have five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. How many cards does he have left? One. One. Hmm. Just let it go, Francis. <laughs> I'll play another shield for another one. <laughs> so now you're tied. Okay. And she has no more cards after this? Nope. Nope. All right, we'll play my archers. Okay. So reduce <laughs> I just by, wanted reduce to bleed her by him. one. He's reducing you by one. I just wanted to bleed him completely. 
automatically. Unfortunately, my archers has a casualty, so this will. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna die too. So she has yeah, to leave. Because... Yep. So she's gonna lose one just for losing the battle. Yes. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't then... have to worry about my casualty. Yeah. Because of my thing. Yep. But, so, yep. but you right, have so to. You do gone. have to leave. Um, and I can go to any territory I control. That you right? control, yeah. Hmm. That was a big battle. It wasn't as valuable because of her archers. Her archers really hurt me. Yeah, that, yeah. that was it. That was the big... And now you have no more combat cards. Yeah, neither Which is you. good to know. Okay, wait, listen. So I listen, will... Don't worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking if I want to come down... Come back down to, like, my settlement. Or... Head over there. Hmm... I have so many decisions. So many options. I guess I'll come down here. All right, so Brian actually okay. gets off the map, too. Yes. Yeah, because of my casualty, yep. unfortunately. Yeah, that crushed you, so it doesn't change. And I get change. to maintain control. Yeah, it That's doesn't good. change control now. And what um, what strength is that region right there? It is a What's... four. Well, actually, I have control over it, so you compare it against my... Um, no, it, it, I think it's against your, um... Uh... It's... Oh. Against the settlement? If there's no troops there, it's against the strength, the strength on, of, the of the region. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking is, of usurping. Which is a four. Yeah, like, so if you, he wants to usurp, then it has to be... He has to have a strength of four, a might of four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that yeah. might. Yeah. Might yeah. two still? Might still might two? You're a two, yeah. Yeah. So, you do have an action, though, that you can take a special action, right? Yeah, and I, so just to give a, an idea of what I was trying to do, Francis drew a bunch of cards. Yeah. I got a little nervous with <laughs> her having a grip of cards. I knew I could at least get rid of a big army, or at least weaken it, uh -huh. and then figure out what to do what later. What I'm surprised you know? is why you didn't just exhaust Mjolnir and draw another combat card to see if you could get one without a, a casualty marker. You're right. Yeah, you know what? That's because I didn't think of it. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and I should have used Mjolnir last turn before I monumented. So, yeah, so you would have I'm just not I'm just not very good at this game. We're going to use Milnir right now anyways. I want to draw a combat card. Okay. Okay. Good call. So that's There exhausted. you go. Here's your combat card. That'd what I get? Okay. Sword. That's that, good. That would have won the battle for you. Yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> and so let me look at special action. So I can what can I do? Um So I have a hmm, Francis is really screwing me here. She's really pushing to your region, man. Yeah, <laughs> she's I really being I started over annoying. here. I started over here. Yeah, but it's mine now. <laughs> I want to recruit, I think. Oh, look at that. Okay. So recruitment I want to rec is Alpha. Let's go and recruit me. So you get a but bonus. I have to... Re yeah, recruit me there. Mm -hmm. What is this bonus? So you actually get that bonus. So that's to heal an injury, or which you don't have any, or place your hero in any region. Oh, that's cool. So would you All like right, to move your hero? Yeah, we're going to move my hero on up to the yellow region that's just above me with a rune. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then put a put a hero in my settlement that's by uh, you. I think I only have one settlement right now. Put a um, put a what? A troop. A set, like a, he a troop because I'm recruiting. Oh, okay. Like a level um, two recruit. In this settlement here? Yeah. Yep. yeah so I think it's a level two, two right? Yep. That's it. I'm done. Okay. So then it is my turn. Cool. So I guess I will play a priest first. So I will go to Thor, please. Okay. I really do like praying to Thor. Um, so what's your, what's your might level? Uh, four. Okay. I'm going to bring my hero up here to Niflheim and give him the fish. Which will ally me with Niflheim. Even though it's, I don't know why, I really care about that, but it was right there, so what, <laughs> what the hey. Um, did I own this? Yeah, why don't I have a marker on that? I should. I do control that. Um, activate one army, so let's see. I will, I'll bring him to a three. A uh, two, rather. Um, 
Ooh, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. What? Um, what I'm going to do is, because uh, I'm just thinking of a couple things I could do, I'm going to do a, a monument, though. I'm going to build a monument Okay. for my special cool. uh, action. So I'm going to build wow. Thor, okay. actually, so if you wouldn't mind. I'm glad we're building these because um, they look Oh, I prayed to Thor, right? You did. So I actually, I do get a combat card for that. What? Why? Well, because he was There's already level Thor's two. Level. Now he's level three. Um. He's level one, I thought. Is he not? No, no, no. The base is level one. Right. Yeah, level two. And then we put level two on, and now he's level three. Yeah, I don't you think I've been one doing might myself. <laughs> draw one combat card. Yeah, you did, remember? Because you upgraded your. When you prayed. When you um, sent your priest to Freya, you actually added your. Um, not Freya, yet to Odin. Uh -huh. You increased your armies by a total of two, remember? You split no, it between two armies. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Don't okay. worry. We're good. <laughs> You always, she never All thinks right. she gets the good. We got goods. Thor's legs. All right, so Thor's legs. legs are up. So we're being built. So each player removes priests from all monuments. So they're all coming okay. back. Okay. Um, getting trashed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could hand mine back from Thor. Yep. There you go. Um, take control tokens back. They are coming back. Um, recharge your artifacts. So his Mjolnir is actually getting recharged. Yep. Uh, I That's gain one perfect. priest for each temple I control. I control two temples, so I'm going to get two priests. Nice. Which is powerful. Well done. Um, Feels so good, doesn't it? It does feel really good. I get to draw and resolve an event card now. This is wonderful. All right, so Hati and Skull are already out, so we're going to move Fafnir. <laughs> He's going to get there eventually. He's, He's on his way. <laughs> uh, Grendel is out, so Grendel is activated, but that is Bry's. What are you going to do, Bry? I'm going to move him right on down <laughs> to uh, my favorite person <laughs> in my lands. So he's going to stomp. <laughs> Boom. Stomp So what's he just going to stomp me for, for one? For one, that's all. Yeah, he only gets yeah. one armor. <laughs> Uh, so you stomp it, and then now the Draugr, who is out, uh -huh. is going to roll a die. So if you don't mind, I get to control Mr. Draugr. He's right here. Um, the dice oh, yeah, yeah, okay, here you go. So we're going to see if he's going to move or he's going to do a regional attack. He's going to do a regional attack. attack. Wow. All right, so his attack is all heroes on the region with Draugr and all adjacent regions are dealt one injury. Heroes. <laughs> yes. No, that's heroes, not troops. That's heroes. So yeah. there are no heroes adjacent to him, so nobody gets hurt. Boo! That sucks. <laughs> All right. That's actually good to know, yeah. considering I just, you could bring him in yeah. and yeah, do that. Yeah, do some damage, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Cool. Um, Ready for the big, mm -hmm. the big move. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Um, all right, so I have no runes in my area. I have no priests to send. Uh, but I will move my hero. I'm going to move my hero here. And I have no runes to spend <laughs> at all, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to move one of my armies, this one, here. I immediately take control. Yep. Mm. And then for my special action, I'm going to do a usurp. So Brian gets to draw a combat card. I'll take I him. get to recruit an army. Mm. Value four. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Your turn. Bry. Uh, he, he, yeah, um, he has a comic card. All right, good. He did. I got one. Mm hmm. All right, so I'm going to send my priest to Thor, and I'm going to draw two combat cards and increase my might. Okay. So that, that puts me at four fun. combat cards. Mm hmm. And I'm a little. I, I, I had a plan. And Francis screwed my plan up. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to decide what is my next move. So let's see here. Hmm. Give me a second to think. Sure. You have a level four. You have your armies are so strong. I know. That's what I do. You have a little four up there in your hero. Hmm. My guy's here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, move my hero mm -hmm. down to seven. To seven. Oh, down here. Yes, okay. right there. Mm. Okay. And... 
fight. I might need some help here with fighting monsters. Okay. Oh. So yes. there are rewards with when you injure a monster accurately. Yes. Is that right? That's that correct. is correct. You do, get, you do get those rewards. So we have five. So what are they? So right it says here. realm, rune, army plus one. What are the? What does that mean? Yep. So basically, what's going to happen here is as you cover these up and. Each one of these symbols is depicted on your combat cards. So your combat cards all in the upper left corner have, you know, one of these symbols on them, hopefully. Yeah. And then as you use those combat cards to fight the monster, uh, you can cover up these symbols as injuries. Yep. And if you cover up ones with little words underneath, you get those bonuses at after, the end after of After the, the hunt, yep. Yeah. You collect all that. Okay, and when does the hunt trigger? I moved my you monster You have to take the monster my the action. You have to take the action. It's a special action. Okay, great. So I get to activate an army first, and I get to do anything else I wanted to do. Yeah, before you go into the special action, if you want to hunt them. Yeah, so I want to activate an army. If I have an army in a region that I can bump up, what can I do that? In that red region down there? Um, this one right here. No, that's, that's me. you. Uh, not, me. not me. Up up two left. Oh, that one. Two this left. one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, you can move him to three. All right, let's bump him up, and then for the special action, we'll go ahead and hunt awesome. the monster. Cool. You get the increase one of your armies by one because yes, you took that. And can you show me my combat cards in terms? I want to see the the numbers. All right. So the well, you're looking at the I symbols. I have a sword. Yeah, sword. I don't know what the heck that is. An axe and an arrow. It's a shield. Sword, a shield, an axe, and a bow. Okay. And so she doesn't have those, those symbols, symbols on her. So like or the she bow. She doesn't have a shield. Who? The monster? Uh, the monster I'm fighting doesn't have a. Uh, a so shield. bring bring Fafnir over. So yeah, no, Fafnir only has swords, bows, and axes. Uh, cross and swords. And whatever, whatever Dual swords, axes, yeah. bows, and axes. Yeah. So that's Fafnir. All right. So. <clears throat> so I will hold on to this. To the hunt. So here's Brian's hand. I can hold those. You want to hold Since the hand? you're going to be controlling the monster anyway. Okay. And Brian's actually going to get three more cards because he's going to draw up. And it's the first round of combat. Brian's going to draw up to his might. So he gets three more cards to work with here. Great. Uh, I'm going to be playing the monster. So I will take out the monster deck. At the beginning of the combat, I will draw two cards. And I have to decide which of these two I want to play. Oh, they're the same card. So I will just play one of them. And to defeat this monster, I have to cover up every single thing? Yep. Yes. Every single thing. So Brian's got to match those and symbols. So I'm going to do all the hard work. <laughs> yeah. Someone's no, going to come it and just no, no, no. up. It doesn't <laughs> stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to do injuries to the monster, but yeah. they're not going to stay. Monster's really? Gonna, you monster's have to kill in one go? Kill in one go. Yep. Oh, man. And then if I cover up the things, I get the bonus? I get some sort of bonus? Yep. Yep. If there's bonuses printed underneath, then you'll get some bonuses. Okay. So All right, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him in one go. Well, can I? Well, you, it's mm -hmm. going to go a series of rounds, right? Yeah, so first we're yeah, going to we'll do see. a defense. So, like, you're going to go hunt the monster, but he's actually going to strike first. So Yeah, so he's going to play a card. So here it is. And I get to choose if I'm going to defend. Yes. He has three um, damage. He does three damage and a special attack, sea monster special attack. So what he would All do is he right. would... So he is going to deal two injuries... And the player must discard one rune. Right, so you have to either block the three damage, or you're going to take all that good stuff. So I'm going to go and play shield. All right. Okay. Which blocks and monster then attack. I think I have a card that says going to play. Do they all say can play with shield? You can use with shield um, to do something. Um, you can use, like, the Sayax to yeah. use with the shield to do any type of wound to the monster, but that's during your... Hunt, yeah. not during your defense. The... Like that was technically. Oh, okay. This is like the defense. Yeah. So basically, you defended it. Now you can continue to play cards for this combat round. So then I'm gonna discard my sword to cover to do a sword damage. Okay. So okay. He, he discards a sword, and you cover up one of them. Yep. And I'm just gonna cover up the one that says realm, Brian, because I'm assuming you'll okay. want that. Bonus. So now, Brian, you can continue to play cards, or you can just end. So, what does the realm bonus do? Do I do I know? You just get to control. You get to realm. ally with a realm anyway. Yeah. All right. Okay. And so then, uh, so now it goes to the next phase, right? Well, no, you can keep playing cards. You can play as many as you want right now. Um, it's oh, up can to you. you? Oh yeah, it's up to you. But at the end of this, normally you would then uh, add up all the cards you played, those numbers, 
and see mm -hmm. if and add that to your stat that would match this stat so you'll be your wisdom and as long as you have at least eight you would typically draw two cards after this combat round but because you played shield it tells you draw only one combat card so it doesn't matter you don't yeah. have to worry about so that. you can play as many as you want and then you have an opportunity to draw one more and then the, the battle then the battle continue. continues so what would I'm you gonna play my my bow and arrow okay so he plays the bow so after you deal a wound to a monster draw a combat card and discard a combat card from your hand so this lets you cycle one so cover the bow yep. for him and he gets to draw a card and discard a card so do you want to keep that that it looks like a lance spear. or spear yeah that's I'm gonna get rid of that all right so get rid of the spear um Okay, and so then we oh, can go to the next phase. That's pretty, the spear is pretty cool. One. You can use it with the shield to deal any type of wound to a monster. Yeah. If you had the shield. Well, a lot of, a lot of them say that. Yeah. I have a bunch that say that. Yeah. Um, so that ends that round, right? So now yeah, I. So maybe he yeah. should have been able to use that, actually. Because he used his I was shield. Yeah, yeah, your shield has played this yeah, round. Yeah, so what so. other wound do you want to do to this monster, Brian? Uh, we'll I'll cover you. up a uh, the rune one with the two things. Well, what other card did he have that he could play with a shield to give it additional wound? I had a lot of them that can yeah, do that. Yeah, he has the But has he played any yet? He well, he can't. He's going to right okay, now. Okay, well, you have to, because he doesn't get to do that extra wound yeah. until he plays this card. You want to use that your spear? spear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the spear. There you go. I'll put it down. Oh, okay. Collect him over there, right? All right. <laughs> um, okay. So you can keep going, or because you've already drawn your card for this combat round, so I think you'd probably stop at this point. I'm going to stop. Now, I'm going to draw three cards because of this. Uh, cards telling me to draw three, and I'm going to pick one. Um, so this is that. And I have to I have to do eight total damage? Yeah. Or eight powers at the big number in the middle? Yes. I'll do this one. Okay. This and is, you've done I don't want to go too hard on you, Brian. So okay. now this is like, here, four damage attack he would deal one injury so do you block the four or do you just take the wound i'm going to take the so where does the four go yeah, well what happens is we're just going to turn over one of your attribute markers yeah into and, it's a gonna pin it at and it two. pins it at two but yeah we'll go and flip over we'll do that okay. we're going to flip over my <laughs> blue one whatever one is. Yeah. your one yeah, authority the worthless my worthless one all right so now if you can play six points worth of cards this round you'll get to draw two cards before the next combat round. All right, so I'm gonna play Berserkers. Okay. Berserkers. Cover up. What's Berserkers? Be oh, this oh, one. This Sayx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayx. Yeah. 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 So put this one down. He's gonna cover up double swords. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna do the so archers. So that'll negate this the damage. Bow. The bow. The for bow for archers. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to draw two more Which, cards. Which, after you deal a wound to a monster, draw a combat card and discard a combat card from your hand. So you got another Berserkers. But or, you have to discard yeah. one. But you have least. to discard one. We're going to discard the Berserkers since I need an axe. Okay. okay. Um, that's it. You can keep going or you can stop. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Play the axe. Well, no, I'm going to keep... Oh, no, I'm going to draw oh. two cards, you said, right? Uh, so, but the, gonna, yeah, you're done with, so you're done with this combat round. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go, I want to draw some more cards. So he gets two cards because you actually had six cards played, so you, mm -hmm. you met the uh, weakness yep. Yep. Uh, limit of six, so you get to draw two this round. Perfect. Now I get to draw, I draw two cards. And choose Francis, can I see his wounds? Um, the bad guy, two axes? Yes. And a sword. Oh. Can you see it? He's, yeah, he's, he's got dead. a sword and he's got two <laughs> axes. Yeah. He's he's dead. <laughs> All right, I'll play I, this one. I so, got him. So he's going to do three dead. damage to you. So what are you going to play to block the damage? Do I have to block the damage or can I take a wound? Uh, well, here's the deal. Deal one injury. If the hero already has an injury, immediately end the hunt. So you have uh. to block this. Okay, so how much do I have to deal? Three to block it. Uh. Come on, bro. Why are you doing that? The other card was far worse. No, no. Okay. Okay, I guess we have to play the axe. I have to play the axe, right? right? So the axe wait, gets... wait, wait. You have two axes. Do you want to play? Oh, you have to He's play got to block the three. Right, right, so right. I have to do three. Yep, so that blocks the damage. So now you can play other okay. cards. So we're going to... Uh, you can use... Let's play the bow. After okay. deal one to a monster. That doesn't do Draw anything. Draw a combat card and discard a combat card. 
It literally doesn't do anything. I mean, you've really screwed me. Yeah, it doesn't do much because it's not going to do a wound. <sighs> I had him dead. But it could allow you to draw like a better card, maybe. Well, so if I play the axe, if I play the so, am I going to draw any more cards in this combat, or am I not going to be able to draw any more? You'll cards? draw one card. Play the axe. Okay. Okay, so the axe is going to bring it over here. Mike, we're giving them to you. Well, well it doesn't matter because yeah. he's not going to he's not going to meet the weakness. Um, and then I guess I, I can't do anything with damage, this card. Though. So he's going to do this. Yep. Yep. Okay. And we get right, I really end. need a sword or a axe. All right, so we end the combat round, right? Yep. yep. So I yep. get to draw three cards for the monster. Gosh, and you get to draw on. one. Yeah, I need a sword mm. or an axe. Shield, that's okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to um, do... I'll do this one. Nasty wound. Mm. Three damage. All right, shield. Okay. So, so that ignores it. Ignores the effect. shield. Ignores the entire effect of this. All right. All right. Go to the next round. Uh, <laughs> He's all right. His luck you draw a sure. card. I draw okay. three. And you're running out of monster cards here. Ugh. Okay. I'm screwed. Seriously, can you draw me something decent? <laughs> uh, okay. Here, wild attack. Three damage. Can you block it? Yeah, block it. What do you want to use the sax? Four. Yeah, I yeah. have my choice. Uh, so you're gonna use so, that. So that's a four. Okay, we'll put that here. Um, you're blocking the damage with this, right? Yeah. Is there any way I can draw more cards? I mean, you have this bow, but you have to deal... I, it doesn't to, do anything. It doesn't deal, deal a wound. Yeah, you need yeah. that axe. I, I screwed up. I need an axe or a sword. Yeah. And then I have, I have him dead. So All right, we'll draw, go one more round. You draw a card. Oh, it's another weird okay. bullet. Shield. Uh, yeah, it doesn't wow. do anything. Okay, here we go. Don't tell him what I'm drawing. Four. <laughs> All right, shield. Okay. Shield. Shield. Play shield. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, draw a card. You draw one combat card. This I is so... Two. Okay. This I, is the last round. There you go. This is it? <laughs> is it? That's a, is that a spear? Yep. It is. But I, I need a sword. So you don't have right? a shield. Right, that you yeah. need a shield with the spear to deal any wound, and this is a spear you need a sword, yeah. I'm screwed. Okay, yeah, I need so a sword. I'm, I can't do anything. Combat's right, failed. Because we're out of combat Combat's, cards, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Out over. of monster cards. All right, so the hunt... <sighs> he keeps these because he, he didn't play them. So he However, ended up failing, but he gets a ton of rewards. You get a ton of stuff. So this is good. And this is kind of how the monster fights are supposed to go. Yeah. Um, especially considering you don't have a ton of... Um, I honestly, th stuff. guys, I had a way to win. Yeah. If he didn't play the card that required me to discard my axe, yeah. I had him dead. I had Fafnir dead. I know. Uh, pick a realm that you'd like to ally with. Um, I want to ally with the one that gives me uh, a free unit. Um, place a new army with strength one yeah. in any region. So that's Jutenheim. That's a good one, yeah. All right. So what else uh, you get, get a rune. What rune would you like? Give me an N. Okay. N. <laughs> uh, you get an army plus one. So do you want a new army or do you want to raise one to one? I want to I want to make a, a, a stronger army. I think that army. just okay. increases your army. And actually you get to do that twice. Yeah. Twice. You get two army points. Okay, so uh, do I have any threes? Yep. You do. Make one, Make a four. Okay. And do I have an, another three? Yep. yep. Make a four. Okay. Oh man, got some strong arms. You got it. Well that was pretty no good. Friends. You do have to leave this space, right? Doesn't he have to leave? That's fine. Send me yeah. up one. Up to the yellow. <laughs> Licking your wounds. And then that's it, I guess, when I'm done with my turn. That was a really long turn. I'm sorry for everyone. No, no, no. That's, that's, okay. that's good. But they got to see the hunt. And that's it's yeah. crazy that's hard. hard. But it and I want to explain, in case, it's not like it's hidden information. The reason why I was saying I had him dead is if I drew the axe, I, that means he'd only have one wound left. Mm -hmm. And my hammer lets me deal a damage of any type to a monster so I could deal whatever I needed to cover up the last damage. Yep. No, you. I, I knew you had it, but there's nothing I could have done. The cards were bad. Um, so I went to Freya to get my wisdom up. Okay. Um, so I prayed with my priest. Uh, I'm going to move my hero. Where is he? He's all the way up here. Yeah. He's like <laughs> off of the, <laughs> the oh, end of the world. Far away. Um, one. I'll bring him down here. Two. Um, 
I don't want to play any runes. Activate an army, so I will increase an army. To three. I'll make this guy a three. Why not? Three. And my final thing will be to... I will do a mobilization. Which is here. Um, that gets me something. That does. You draw one... What was that? Um, chosen rune. Chosen rune. What rune do you Give want? me uh, a Y. A Y. Why? Okay. Um, so my final was mobilization. I get to move. I get to activate all my troops. So anybody on a settlement, I can actually increase. Um, one, two, three, four. Actually, before we forget, can you flip friend of gods? Oh wow! Because four or more realms have been allied to Brian. Oh wow! So. Okay. Well, that that that's crazy. Do we do that only in building temple though? Is that when we check? Um. No, you check to see if Ragnarok build a, happens. Build a, mo build yeah. a, build a monument. You're yes. right, you're right, you're right. I'm going to move all three of these guys down here. Oh, you did your mobilization? Ooh. Yep. Okay. I sure did. Mm -hmm. And I just took over the region with... Nice. A monument. So Good. I took Freya's artifact. And hers nice. is the Brizgamen. Oh, and okay. this is, during your turn, use it to take control over a monster in a region your hero was in. Even if the monster friend. was under the control of another player. All right. It's pretty okay. good. That is pretty legit. So I am done. You done? Yep. All right, it's your turn. It is my turn, right? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. All right, so I can pick up a rune, which I have one mm -hmm. here. And I can then move my hero or move my Drakkar. Mm. I'm going to move my Drakkar. One, two, right there. Mm. And... I don't really want to take control over any monsters, and I'm not anywhere in a realm that I can control, so um, I will move an army, so I'm going to move this army mm -hmm. over here mm. and take control mm. of this guy. Oh, she just took Odin. And I'll take Odin, please. Thank Ooh, you. So we're all, we all have... Artifact. The favor of a mm. god. Mm. Sure do. Um, and then for my action, now, hmm? like, question. Yes. Technically, <laughs> I could build a temple here because mm -hmm. I control the region, even though I don't have people there. That's true. Yeah. Right. It's your city that's building it, really. Right. Oh yeah, I guess so. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. If I wanted to do that, um, I could like activate all my armies. Which might be smart, but I just know we're so close mm -hmm. right now to being done. You know? I know. Um,. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess I'll go ahead and just build a temple here, which gives us another blessing draft as well, Ooh. and it gives me a priest. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. blessing draft. We like blessings. Yeah, they're good. I forgot about my runic weapon. <laughs> you always do, man. Oh yeah. Always. Okay, two, three. F wow, they're all four blessings of Freya. Oh wow. All right, okay. so this is your choice. So, do you want? This is my choice, right? Yeah, so you, when you win a hunt, immediately gain all realm bonuses from allied realms. Well, no. Oh, wow. Use one rune to charge your artifact. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gain one chosen rune. You can choose up to two sets of runes in each of your turns. Gain one chosen rune. Mm -hmm. You can use up to two sets. It means you can do the rune oh, action twice. right, right. Uh, use three runes to remove your marker from a chosen action. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty good. What would you like? I don't have a ton of runes, but I like mm. that one. I'm going to take that Rune of Cunning. Mm. I right. like that. So then it goes to Brian. Me. Yeah, which one did you like? I want the one that gives me the ally one. Oh, bonuses from the allied realms? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. And I'll take the, um, the one that lets me play two sets of runes on a turn. Thank you, Francis. You're welcome. So you don't forget to use them, and you don't need to see those. All right. So that is the end of your turn, right? Sure is. Okay. It is to you. 
All right, so do I have any priests currently? Nope. You don't. All right, and so I guess I will pick up the, uh, the, room, the thing I'm on. Yep. yep. You do have room for it. You have room so for I'll it. Take, I will take that, and then I can move my hero or heal. Uh, so I guess I'll heal. Yep. Heal that injury. Okay, and then I can do two different runes to activate an army, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And you said I have a four in region 21? Um, in 18 you have a four, and in one you have a four up here. In one. Here. This is a two. Oh, uh, dang. What is that? A two. A two. That is not what I wanted. Hmm. Dang it. All right, let me th rethink this real quick. I don't want to do this. So we're going to move my army. So we're going to spend two runes of different types. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do Y and uh, N. Mm -hmm. And we're going to activate an army. Mm -hmm. and we're going to activate army 18 and move 18. That's a four, you said? Yep. Over to 19. Ah. And that is, he takes it over. Mm -hmm. So Brian just took that temple. Yep. Okay. Well, where's my Jakar? My Jakar is here. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so now I'm going to act. So what happens with that temple that's there? Whose is that? It's yours now. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. like the temples, remember, don't really belong to anybody. It's more about the regions. Yeah, whoever controls right, the regions. Well, then, are. well yeah. then I will go ahead and activate my army. And mm -hmm. who who controls region 20? 20? Yellow 20, where I do. Grendel is. I'm going to move my army from 19 to 20. This one that you just moved in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, can I move him now? No, oh, yeah. 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 Did he take 20? And then 20? I'll take control of that. Yeah, because nobody else is here. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, and then for my special action. Um, so there's all temples there, correct? Mm -hmm. Or activate a monster. I'm going to increase your I want one of your armies your settlement. Sorry, I just need to re refresh everything here. <laughs> it's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a monument. Oh I'm gonna wow! I'm going to continue building the monument on th Thor? on Thor. Thor. Yeah. Thor. You, so you finished Thor. Yeah, that's my plan. Oh man! Boom. Thor is legit now. There he is. He's like, raw. Mm. So we get all of our priests come back. And, uh. Boop. So that Brian's Oops. the only other one with yeah. a priest. Yep. And uh, you control tokens get yours come back. back. Yep. Um, um, and Brian's actually going to get one, two, three priests. Whoa. Total. He gets his back. He I get one back, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. He gets one back, but then he gets two more. Uh, why does he have three still? I just gave him three. Oh, wow. He got three priests? Yeah, because he controls three regions. I control of three times. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. That's really bad. Um, um, yeah. we got to refresh all the runes on the board. Now, does that trigger Ragnarok? That sure does. Sure does. Here you go. There's a rune. For me? No, it does back on the rune for oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Brian gets to... You want to think? Or he does get to take. Um, he actually gets to take this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Fafnir, Fafnir's already out. Uh, Loki is going to go two spaces. So Bri, where would you like to move Loki? Where is he? He's right here. Uh, we'll move him down to fifteen. One, two. All right. So he's going to hurt. I'll have him just kill this guy. Stomped him. Stomped him out. All right. Grendel moves. Bri, you get to move Grendel. Okay, and there's one space. Yep. yep. Uh, we'll move him up to three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hati and Skull. Okay. Moves. Are... So just ro roll. Oh, they're right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll roll. just roll for him. Roll for Brian. So see what happens. Uh, he's not doing anything. Okay. That's great. Nice. And the troll. The Cocked. troll's not that? there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, so um, now we check, and Ragnarok's triggered. 
Yes. So we each yep. get one more turn. Including Brian. Including Brian. Yes. Uh, so his turn is over. I get to start up. So I, this is my last turn of the game. Yeah. Which is brutal. Yeah, we should tell... We should tell people what we're kind of looking for in terms of final scoring, yeah. right? Well, not even final scoring. Here's what's going to happen. Um, Ragnarok ends at the... At, uh, the game ends, and Ragnarok happens after we each take one more action. But the winning condition is now whoever controls the most regions surrounding this wheel. Sure is. Yeah. And, wow, this is bad because I don't have anybody in position <laughs> to do this. So I think I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to do some some maneuvering. It looks like Francis is in really good position here. It's, it certainly does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, right now she's definitely in, in position to take this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to mobilize some folk. So I can move a hero or a Drakkar. It's not going to help me. Um, I don't have any runes to do anything. Man, this is going to be brutal. I might as well just send a priest out. I'll just go pray to Thor again. Okay. That's going to get me uh, one, two, three <laughs> combat, combat cards. cards. Well, I can only take, I can only hold three. Oh, I didn't use my hammer before I mobilized. Mm. Uh, that's unfortunate. Gotta right. remember, to draw gotta a remember these card? things. Yeah. Oh, you trying to draw a combat card? Oh, yeah. We'll give it to you. All Tap right. It. I'll, I'll take card. a free combat card. I get to activate. Uh, he wants combat, combat card. card yeah. I get to activate one army. Ooh, um, that's a good one. Yeah. And now refresh it, Francis. What's that? The the hammer. The hammer. Now he wants it refreshed. You want, oh oh you mean from before before you do the mine? So I'm gonna yeah, activate yeah. an army. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring one here. Okay. Um, I'm going to then my special action is going to be to mobilize. Ooh, that lets me move anywhere I want? I think. Should I do that? That lets you what's... draw a, a rune, Brian. Who's a rune? Okay, I'll, I'll take, take an N. You know what? I wanted to... Okay, we'll give it to you in a sec. I didn't move okay. my hero, so I'm going to move him as well. One, two. And I'm just thinking if I do want... Do I want to mobilize? Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean... Don't, don't forget, forget my N. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just... I'll do an usurp where I'm at. Okay. And just take this. And that will give me um, control as well as a level 5 warrior. Right here. Alright, that's all I can do. It's not going to be enough though. I was just out of position. And, and that, that region, region was, was uh, seven? That was seven, yeah. Okay. Give him his N rune, please. Oh, he gets an N rune? Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Francis. Francis. You're welcome. Bookkeeper extraordinaire. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's up to you. Let's see. Well, I think Brian gets one more turn as well. He does. Um, I get all, I'll get all the information. information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see. That's a pretty strong army you have up there. That's a both a uh, settlement and a temple region. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Settlement se settlement seven that he just took is a both a settlement and a temple. It has both mm. there. Yeah. That's a really good. I, I, I yeah. I probably should have guarded that much earlier. I think that might be the only one. It's a small region. That's why there's only three. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a small area. Yeah, there's only three in that re three regions. Hmm. All right, so I will send. I think I'll send my priest out, maybe. But I might as well send my priest. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, probably to Odin, so that I can beef up my armies a little bit. Yeah, by two. You know. Mm -hmm. So we'll start by doing that. Go there, and this guy will go to a four, and this guy will go to a three. 
They always do that. I always set them to my might. They actually get set to authority when they come out. They do. They which do. is two, not five. Um, so that's my prayer. My hero. Hey, Anthony, Anthony, how many, many combat cards, cards do I have? have? You have a lot. You have three. Two. Okay. I'm gonna go one, two. Over here. And I'm not gonna use rune. Uh, actually, I am gonna use a rune. I'm gonna use my god artifact. Mm -hmm. Um. My Draupnir ring to use this as any rune and then spend two runes of any type. You know what I mean? Two different ones. Oh. Um, to do another. Actually, instead of. Maybe I was going to activate an army, but I think I might draw combat cards. I'll draw three combat cards. Hmm. Just in case anybody's feeling saucy. All right. You know Brian is. I know he is. <laughs> 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 um, and then I will activate an army. I'm going to move this guy into here. I'll take that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then for my special action, I am going to recruit. Oh, it has to be a region with a settlement. Oh, mm -hmm. but um, my hero is always in a settlement. Yeah. So that's fine. So I will do a recruit. What bonus does that get me? You get to heal an injury or place your hero in any region. Okay. Move, Move me, me down, down to 16. And this is going to be uh, four. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. No, I should not do that. Put me back up there. Do, do I have do I have an injury? No, you're good. No. Okay. And I'll I'll let her do her turn. And I'm gonna ask just clarifying questions okay. on, the, on the board site. I'm pretty sure that's that all I can do. So like, that was my recruitment. Yeah, that was it. So. All right. Just it. so I know, before I decide if I'm moving or not, mm -hmm. the where my hero is, who's with me? That's me. And what is that? Five. It's a five. Okay. <laughs> And the guy to the left of me, what is that? That's me. I'm a three. Okay. Great. And then the guy in 13 is a four? In 13 is yeah, a four. Yeah, blue. He's yeah. a four, yeah. And, and how many regions does Francis control surrounding the, the circle? Four. Right now, four. Four of them. And, and how many do I control? None. Zero. Did she take one here? She took this yeah. one from me. I took this me. one. She just took that from you. 19? Yeah. yeah. What about three? Who controls three? Three? Oh, yeah. like... No one? This one? I do. See? Oh, dang it. So you, is there no, there's no way I'm going to win this. I mean... Unless you mobilize and fight. Fight me. I'm definitely going to fight you. You can fight. You can usurp. There's a lot of things you could do, actually. So send me down to 16. All right, so send my hero down to 16. We'll go down there. This isn't adjacent. Oh, that's not, that's not even yeah. adjacent. Oh! Yeah. Why wouldn't you go, like, here? To three. Yeah, send me to three. Go to three. Where my monster is. Okay, I triggered Ragnarok, but I'm not sure I can actually win. I thought I had it won, but I don't. So, first thing I need to do is pray. <laughs> awesome. I, I have... <laughs> Where are you going? I can, yeah, got to pray. So, first thing, uh, I don't know. Authority, maybe. Okay. I don't need any more combat cards. I have so three, so we'll do authority. To Odin, and yeah. you go up one authority, and now you get to increase um, your armies by a total of two points. So, which armies do you want to increase? Yeah. And I only have three armies on the board? Yes. yes. So we're going to increase uh, the one guy, I guess. I think we'll move him up by two. So he's going to go up to a six. All right. Yeah, we're just going to... This is going to be... This is going to be hard. Yep. Okay. So we can move my hero. We're not going to do that. So we're going to move my ship. Why not? You're we'll just move my ship. ship? Mm. All right. Why don't we move? His ship hasn't moved all game. So why don't you set him <laughs> up above your dragon there, Anthony? Up there. 
Ah, he just here. wants he wants to watch the battle from over there. Oh, he, he wants, wants to go, to go over like here. over here. Yeah, he wants to watch from over there. Okay, yeah, just somewhere over like there. In that water. Yeah, that water. doesn't doesn't matter to me. He's just gonna hang out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do uh, runes. Use a set of runes. We're gonna do two different. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna activate an army. Okay. Okay. Which one? So it doesn't doesn't matter what, right? And we're gonna move my one army. That's a six uh -huh. straight down. Mm-hmm. Straight We're down. Trigger combat. Oh, here. Yeah, to right into you. Okay. Yeah. Mm, right, we're trigger there combat. <laughs> yeah, six on okay. four. So fight. Fight. All right, defender. What are you gonna do? That's there. You know what you got, right, Brian? Okay, that's a, that's a scary card. Those are all scary cards. Well, we'll see what she's gonna do first. Remember this one here. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> all right. Oh, Brian. Um, all right. And I, I can't do any more rune actions, right? Because I uh, you use can. my You can only do yeah, one rune right action, yeah. So this is, okay. um, the, like, I'm basically playing attack cards. This isn't, like, a defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're, okay. you just have to go first. All right, I'm going to play my axe. Uh, so that's Huskarls. Um, and I'm going to gain an additional two. So this is a value three axe. Mm -hmm. I gain additional two of my heroes in the region, which she is. So that's going to be a value of five. So All five right. I'm gonna plus play... four is nine. I'm going to play my five. Okay, he's going to play his. And, uh, and I'm going to make this a runic weapon. Okay. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna in play. When you play a combat card, you may discard a rune to add plus one to the strength. So this will be plus six. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so he's got six now, so that's six. Six to your five. So six plus six is twelve, 12 to, to your my nine. nine. Yep. Okay. Six to nine. Just stop, Francis. All right, I'm going to play Jarl, or maybe Ugh. it's Jarl. <laughs> Jarl? Yeah. Jarl. Jarl? Jarl? Gain doing? additional plus two army strength if your authority is higher than your opponent's, which it is. So this is going to be plus four. four. So nine plus four is thirteen. Thirteen to your twelve, Brian. Okay, so I'm going to play my archers. I think that's what they are. Okay, so then you go down one strength immediately. Okay. And he gains two. Right. Okay. So yeah. he's fourteen to your twelve now. All right. And I'll play my spear warriors for three. 12, 15. And you're 14, Bri? To her 15. Okay. What does my uh, hammer do? That just lets you draw a card. Deals damage to a monster or draw a combat card. I'm going to draw a combat card. Okay. All right. Brian draws that. And what's, what's, um, what's the values here? 14. She's at what? 15. You're 15 to your 14, bro. So I'll, I'll play the, the two. All right. So he's playing a Take spear. me to 16. 16. Right. And she's out of cards. I'm out of cards. So that's it. <laughs> 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 but uh, so you're going to lose one for losing the battle. Plus yes. two more for your casualties. Ah, uh, yes. You so are correct. So I'm dead. dead. Brian is going to take three casualties from this <laughs> combat down to oh, three man. health. Back to the But boot. he did take control of that region. That was a big fight. Yeah, that was uh, that was good. You got some representation That was here. epic. Epic All right. combat. So we're at one now? You have one region, yes. One region. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, All right. And you still and have so a special now, action to take. You do. So I, I still actually have uh, an army action. So I'm going to move. Well, that's right. He does. Mm -hmm. um, my army into 13. Up here? No, down here. He's moving his yeah, army here. The one oh, that here. I just... Okay. Smart. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Against a four. Yeah. And, and I have no cards. And you know she doesn't so. have cards. Yep. And we're going to play my three. Wow. That okay. was a rough play. So he loses one health and has to run... Back to a settlement. That's which the is fine. only one he yeah. can go to. Um, well, actually. Actually, it's not going to win the game, though, because it doesn't matter, because I can't take control of it, right? Yeah, that's correct. You, yeah, you can't. So basically, you beat that's her, okay. but you I, still. I maintain can't. control. Yeah, so. she maintains control. Yeah. Wow. 
So then what I'm going to do with my special action is I'm going to uh, usurp where my mm, hero you is. You can do that. Where's your hero? Right here, because it goes against your troop strength, not the realms. But his usurp is... His might, which is three. Oh, it's equal to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He did that's smart. It. Good. And he gets a troop there. Yeah, that's good. Equal to his well authority, done. which is three. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I can do. Yep. <laughs> and then you have to retreat to here. That's the only one. I can retreat. Oh, no, I can't. Just because my hero's there. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so Brian has two, and you hold two. Yep. And I hold one. Yeah. All right. So we have ourselves a tie. Yeah. Big tie. Um, and the tiebreaker, and it's between Francis and Brian, not me. I'm out of the running because I only had one to their two um, areas. So it now goes down to whoever has the most settlements on the map. Yeah. Controlled. So. I, and I think Brian might have it. So he's got one. Right. Two. two weak. <laughs> Three. The one I, the Three. One I just took. Yeah. Three to your one two. one, two. I don't think I have any more. That's, That's not just, yeah, a Yeah, you settlement. have two forges. You just have yeah. two wind forges. So, Which yeah. is funny because if I had taken my, if I had taken like the mobilization instead, mm -hmm. I could have like moved all my armies and actually taken yeah. that yeah. instead. But I wasn't thinking that. It's tough. There's a lot of, so, lots of manage here. Yeah. That so, was good. That's it. That's Excellent. Good that's, job, Brian. Lords of Ragnarok, let's, yeah. Um, let's go talk about it. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> there you have it. Lords of Ragnarok. The Lord, so Brian was the Lord of Ragnarok. <laughs> the Lord of Ragnarok. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was an epic, epic playthrough. I think yeah. I, I, really, I really did enjoy playing three players yeah, on absolutely. the channel. I think this, this might not be the one and only... Time we, we do this, if we can we convince have, Brian yeah. to uh, to do this again with us, because I, 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 you know there's a lot of times we get games that we can't play three players mm -hmm. that we you know when we do, I well, think, or they're not as fun like right. with just the two of us. We're not as like engaged exactly with each other. And I so. think with the um, basically with with this setup and not tweaking any of the rules for player count, I think it, like three is is probably the minimum you want to go. Yeah. Uh, with the with the with the vanilla rule set, right? Without any yeah. Uh, adjustments. Yeah. But, um, so I think that was great. Um, we are. Uh, the, the campaign is either live, or, or it will be very soon. will be very soon within, <laughs> within days on GameFound. Um, so if you're if you're a fan of Lords of Ragnarok, I'd say this is probably a no-brainer. Yeah, or if you're a fan of Lords of Hellas. Uh, yeah, obviously that's <laughs> really what I meant. <laughs> so yeah, either one because this is there's, there's certain certainly a lot of similarities, but you know enough differences I think for it to sort of like stand on its own. Right? Yeah, feel fresh. Yeah. Um, so if you would like a more in-depth review, because you know that we don't we don't like really review these kinds of unpublished games, uh, you get to, to watch us play it. But um, Brian will have a segment, I think, right, Brian? On your yeah. So I'll be out. doing a a full review, not only talking about specifically the playthrough here that we did, uh, but just my overall thoughts and feelings on the game and what my feelings are, what I liked and didn't like, and what you know others might like. Uh, going basically full detail on it. Yeah, and Brian, is, it's true from what we what we heard, you have not played Lords of Hellas. No, this was my first. Uh, I'm actually very new to a lot of Wake and Run games, so okay. uh, hadn't played Lords of Hellas. Been looking at getting into it, so I was super excited when Ragnarok was announced, okay. and yeah. uh, was very nervous because I know you guys are veterans at playing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you held your own and, and you came you really, out you know what? Yeah, on top. You so. absolutely did. Um, but now I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this from someone who's not played Lords of Hellas. And, yeah, and what, absolutely. What, it, what yeah. you felt, you know, kind of diving deep into, you know, one of the uh, Awakened Realms area control games. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. All right cool. So, Definitely go check out this campaign. Uh, you know the quality that Awakened Realm, Awaken Realms produces, so there's mm -hmm. really nothing for us to say about that. You can see it on the board here. Uh, as a prototype, I mean, this thing is... <laughs> it it <laughs> almost pretty. looks like a retail copy. Yeah. There, yeah, At least no through the iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just <laughs> through the iPhone. In person, <laughs> it's even better. So, yeah. I mean, you, you know the quality of what the game's going to be. So, uh, we just hope that you were able to see 
you know, what the experience would be like when you play this one, so you'll know whether or not it's, it's right for your collection. Yeah, right. and if we did help you make a decision about whether or not this is right for you, or whether or not you're going to back this one, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a comment. Uh, you know, we always pin that first comment for you, so you can let us know if it's helped you make a decision. Um, and as always, if you have questions for us, we like to have those discussions in the comments as well. So let us know uh, what your thoughts are, and um, I guess that's it. Yep. So highly encourage you to go head on over to Game Brigade. Go check out his content. You know, Brian's got a lot of good stuff, especially he does a lot of good coverage on a lot of Kickstarter games yeah. uh, coming yeah. out. So definitely go check that out. I appreciate, I appreciate it, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, of yeah. course. So, thanks for playing. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> we hope to see you next time. All right. See ya.